looking northwest along Highway 3, Prince Albert is maybe 70k that way. It's Saturday, April the 18th, 2015, and this is Canistano, Saskatchewan, the farm implement capital of the province. You can get a blue one, yellow one, red one. You can probably even get a green one too. Tractors, combines, spray coops. Everything from a successful farm here on this old glacial lake bed, rich in clays and silts. Pretty good farmland out through here, looking northeast, actually, up Main Street. The town site was laid out by the Canadian Northern Railway, early part of the 19 aughts. They were building across northern Saskatchewan through Hudson Bay. Laid their steel through here in 1905 and built a third class station at what the Canadian National Railway identified as mile 117.4 from Hudson Bay. On what CN called its Tisdale substation, would have been in here somewhere. Sold off and gone in 1981. Dated bird's eye view of the town taken from the top of the elevator. No automobiles, maybe 1910. And on Main Street, southwest, they don't use that windmill to replenish the water tank. Louis de la Corne was a French fur trader who didn't recognize the charter of the Hudson's Bay Company. He established what he called Fort St. Louis near here in 1753, as it says on the plaque here. Passed in the Northwest Company in the 1890s to compete with the nearby Hudson Bay Company's Fort Carlton. St. Louis was abandoned in 1905, but resurrected by the Hudson Bay Company in the 1840s, rebuilt in 1887, and closed in 1932. And here's another park dedicated to Jerry Armstrong, a longtime teacher in this town and the organizer of the museum. And here it is here in the old Pine Bluff School building. And there's a little Karen to Jerry in the park. Canistano Post Office was established by Mr. J. Tennant on February the 1st, 1883 to serve the Carrot River settlers who began arriving in this area in the 1870s, mainly from Ontario and Great Britain. This is the south side of Canistano Avenue. In the early 1870s, Sir Sanford Fleming laid out a route, a railway route to the Pacific, which ran through the fertile belt of Saskatchewan up here, and this attracted the settlers to come and try their hand farming in the Carrot River Valley. The center of their settlement was on a bridge just south of here on the Carrot River, and that's where Mr. Tennant opened his post office. There's the newer hotel on the Merchant's Bank building built in 1919. And the original hotel, the first building to be built on the new town site, finished in 1905 and burned to the ground in March 1950. Two people died. Would have been right behind us here. We're on Main Street looking northwest up in Stillow Avenue. Merchants Bank building passed to the Bank of Montreal and then to the Bank of Nova Scotia. They served for a while as holy marble, the town office and the post office. That Tiger Room and the Sven Cafe. That room not open this morning. Let's the old theater building. The gap in between there is the site of W.J. Lyle's drugstore, which was moved in from the old Karen River settlement. It was the first building to be put on 
on the tone saying that's not it there. Railway Avenue, meat plant, and an old timey lumber yard beside the fire hall. Jim McNulty Memorial Fire Hall. Looking along Ginistino Northwest. The hotel stood right on that vacant corner there. Ginistino was incorporated as a village on July 27, 1905 and became a town on February the 7th, 1952. It is the headquarters of the RM of Canistino, number 459. The population is up to 743 in 2011. And it enjoys an active kinsman club building pools and swing sets and sandboxes. This looks to be the old school. Or maybe it's the elementary school now. And this is the new school. The arena over there and likely the curling rink as well. Don't know when it was built. Old Methodist Church, maybe. St. Andrews United on the site of the first church in town on Main Street. St. George's Anglican. Roman Catholic folks share St. George's building. The earliest elevators to be built at Canistano were up by. 1911, were built by British America Elevator Company and National Elevator Company, followed by Turner Elevator Company in 1912, and the Saskatchewan Cooperative Elevator Company in 1916. Searle built in 1920, North Star in 1921, the Wheat Pool built number 895 in 1929. And Searle was the last to build in 1952, and I, I believe that's the surviving elevator in Kinniston. And the Cenotaph. Mr. Tennant named his post office in honor of a salt old man whose nickname was Kinniston. He was very helpful, very supportive of the early settlers in this area. He was well remembered. Kinistino, Saskatchewan.